biomedical waste generators shall obtain a permit annually from the Florida Department of Health. A copy of the permit shall be maintained within view in the facility or shall be made available for review by the department personnel. The administrative staff of this hospital is reviewing the permit with a biomedical waste inspector from the state of Florida Department of Health. If the generator generates less than 25 pounds of biomedical waste each 30-day period, then the generator is exempt from this requirement. If it is a new generator, they are required to purchase a current permit, and then after a year of receipts, when they can validate that they under, are under 25 pounds of biomedical waste produced from their facility a, each month out of that year, and then they can file for an exemption the next permitting year. Every generator of biomedical waste must prepare, maintain, and implement a biomedical waste plan. This plan must be a written plan providing for identification, segregation, packaging, and storing of biomedical waste within their facility. The plan must be updated when procedures change or the regulations are changed by the Florida Department of Health. Often generators have a plan, but the plan has shortfalls. Common deficiencies is the generator is telling us in their plan that they are segregating um, biomedical waste from other solid waste at the point of origin. They don't tell us where points of origin are. They don't tell us what types of containers they're segregating it in. They don't tell us what type of storage area, the location of the storage area, where it is. How specific does the plan have to be? A good point to um, stress is that the generator should be able to read that plan and walk through the facility knowing where everything is, types of containers that are used, and if they can't do that just on the paperwork, then their plan is lacking some specific details. Large generators such as hospitals which have multiple specialty services shall as a part of their plan include plans that detail the procedures specific to that area of specialty. Every generator of biomedical waste must train all affected personnel in the proper management of biomedical waste. This training program should be a part of the biomedical waste operating plan. But all employees who handle medical waste must be trained in the code itself, knowing how to handle, label, segregate, contain, transport the biomedical waste. The training must occur prior to commencing duties when a new employee is taken on staff. So what is meant by prior to commencement of duties? Before they are actually handling the medical waste. And the reason for that is so that they are trained in the proper containments because they are making the decision as to what exactly is a sharp. And if they haven't been trained as to what a sharp is, they might not make the right decision. All personnel who handle biomedical waste shall be given an annual refresher training session provided by the generator or by their designee. All biomedical waste management records need to be maintained for three years at a time. They must be made available for inspection by representatives from the Florida Department of Health. Manifest for biomedical waste pickup should be kept on file.